Hey, welcome to another guided meditation. This one's on positive remapping, on dealing with difficult memories. And we'll learn how to rewire those in the way they're perceived, the way that they're actually coded in the brain. So you can think of the brain has these predictive models of the external world of how we should interact with others and perceive events. And those are based on the past, based on interactions we've had throughout our lives growing up. And so what happens is that emotions are used to guide our behavior in this framework of understanding the brain. But some of these emotions might be maladaptive because they might be based on models of the world that are based on like threatening events, something that happened when you were younger that created a program, a, an internal model in your brain that views the world or views that similar situation as threatening. And so this might prevent us from being more open and more compassionate towards others because we still have these programs kind of running our lives or impacting the way that we perceive the world. Now, if you have more severe trauma, please consult a mental health professional before going forward with this. And otherwise, make yourself comfortable. It helps to have a upright spine. And I'll also invite you, if you're not feeling too sleepy, that you could lie down. And then simply relax from the top of your head, releasing any tension in your forehead, inside of your head, and especially around the eyes and jaw. And then scanning down and softening your neck Softening your arms. And taking a deep breath and relaxing the rest of your body. Use the breath like a wave. You inhale. And then ah, on the exhale, let it wash over you. Let it wash away any stress. Inhale again, nice and smooth. And relax, exhale, long, like a wave rolling over you. Relaxing any tension that's built up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and as we've started doing now, you can spend a minute just relaxing, smiling nothing to do, nowhere to go, nobody to be, just relax, enjoy. All right, and now calling up this positive feeling, which you can do in a few ways. You can use a phrase like, may I be happy. You can picture a cute animal or a baby. And you can picture a friend somebody it's easy to feel metta for, easy to feel loving kindness, good vibes. And if none of those are preferred, you can use a happy memory, a time where you're 
perfectly at ease. If that comes to you right away, then use that happy feeling. What's important for this meditation is to start with a tangible feeling that's the sign of this positive emotion. A genuine well-being. You allow that feeling to direct towards yourself, wishing it for yourself. You work so hard. You're doing your best. It's okay. Feel happy towards yourself. Feel good vibes for yourself. If your mind wanders, you can use the four R's. Recognize, release that distraction, relish, and remain. Relish the positive emotion and remain with it. You're embodying this feeling that's the key to this meditation. You're feeling it. And that's what will help us remap in a positive way, remap the difficult memories. So now you can call up a troubling memory, not the most troubling to start just some time you were annoyed or agitated or a little bit angry it might elicit a negative feeling at first, but go back to the positive feeling and stay with that as you bring up the memory. And this is what allows the remapping, resting in the positive feeling, being with that positive emotion while you bring up the negative memory. And if the mind goes into a negative state, then just go back to the positive feeling. You can go back to your animal, your friend. You can go back to a happy memory if you need to. The whole process should feel safe throughout. If it feels threatening at all, then, then stop, go back to the happy feeling. And just rest in that for a couple of minutes. And when your mind feels ready, you can call up something, something easy to work with at first, a time where you were just a little bit upset. Maybe you were even waiting in line for coffee and you felt yourself getting annoyed at how long the person in front of you was taking. That's simple. And you look upon that memory with this happy feeling, like it's okay, I can let that go. In this way, over time, the memories will lose their negative grip, the emotional charge. And that can take time, but that's really the sign that you've remapped a memory. So I suggest you, you stay with each memory for 30 seconds to a minute. And if one needs longer work, you can stay with it for longer.
and then call up a new memory. A new negative memory while staying with the positive feeling. Smile at the memory, seeing it in a positive light. But you're not getting involved in the story here. What matters is just to be with the feeling, to be with the positive feeling, and to bring up the negative memory and let it dissolve in that beautiful feeling of good vibes, of metta, of happiness. Wonderful. You're doing really great. And this is not easy. This is real work we're doing here to sculpt the brain, to change the mapping in our internal models. And I encourage you to continue practicing if, you, if you'd like. And otherwise, before you get up, just check in and notice what you learned about your mind, which memories might need some more work. And then as you continue throughout your day, anytime something happens that you think, oh, wow, that caused a, a bit of negativity in me, that could brought up a negative emotion, right on the spot, right then is your chance to use the four R's, to recognize, release, to relish, in other words, to bring up a positive, happy state of mind like you've just done here, and to remain with it. And then you've remapped that memory right when it's fresh right, when it's often easiest to do. So great work here. Thanks for taking the time to train your mind. And I'll see you over in the lesson where we talk about how to increase serotonin uh, naturally.